Hey everyone, before we start, I just wanted to say thanks for tuning in. Today's video is about the sunglasses in They Live, which reveal aliens hiding amongst us. Uh, I'm not going to go into every reference of They Live in other pop culture works, but rather I'm focusing on the idea of glasses revealing creatures being borrowed from They Live in other works. Also, I would like to point out when I mention one work taking from another work, I'm in no way uh, discrediting anything uh, I am merely just sharing things which I've noticed in movies or shows that I love and merely want to discuss these things with you I'm also big into music which samples other music and uh, that to me doesn't make the music less great so I'm pro sampling in music as well as pro sampling in movies and media meaning things that take from other things I personally think it's cool seeing things that I love being referenced in other things that I love Okay, with that said, let's go ahead and get into the video. Hey everyone, in today's video, we're going to discuss media that rips off or heavily borrows from the movie They Live. The movie They Live was made by John Carpenter, who is most famously known for his movie Halloween, among other films. Uh, I'm not going to get into detail about the movie They Live. I'm going to assume a lot of you have seen it if you're watching this video. But uh, for those of you who have not seen it, I will give you the very short rundown. And that is, They Live is a movie released in 1988 by John Carpenter. It stars Roddy Piper as a drifter who finds glasses, which once put on allows him to see aliens have infiltrated our daily lives. It's a great movie. If you've not seen it, go watch it right now. By the way, it also has uh, it also has one of my favorite stars, George Buckflower. But I got a video about him playing coming up too, so we'll get into that later. With this video, I'm not talking about they live or how awesome it is. It is awesome, by the way. Instead, I want to explore media which borrowed from they live. And I'm not going to get into the short story that they live is based on, which is called Eight O'Clock in the Morning, as it was the source of inspiration and is credited as such in the movie They Live. You can find that short story online yourself, as well as a comic adaptation of the short story. Both are awesome. It's worth reading. You could, I would recommend reading both, honestly. It's the same thing, but it's a good story. But back to the topic of this video, I want to dig into things that clearly took or borrowed from They Live, more specifically the idea of glasses that reveal something such as alien invaders. So I'm really big on horror anthology, also non-horror anthology shows, TV shows and movies. Uh, one that I loved as a kid was called Monsters. It was a horror anthology TV series which ran from 1988 to 1991 and the series was created by Richard P. Rubenstein. I hope I said his name right. Uh, who had previously created a similar style TV program, which a lot of you have seen. If you've not seen Monsters, you've probably seen his other show, which was Tales from the Dark Side. Another awesome show. Uh, both of these TV series are worth owning on DVD if you don't have them. Look into that. I think Monsters is now out of print, going for crazy amounts of money, like 200 bucks last I checked. Uh, so hopefully we get a Blu-ray of that coming out. But the main difference between Monsters and Tales from the Dark Side is that Monsters featured a new monster in each episode, whereas Tales from the Dark Side did not always have monsters in their stories. So now in Monsters, in Season 2, uh, Episode 24, we find a tale titled The Family Man, which was aired in 1990, which is just two years after They Live was released. This episode of Monsters is about a widow with two kids, a teen daughter and a young son. The widowed mother is introducing her kids to her new love interest, only about a year after her husband's death. So understandably, the son has reasons to complain about the situation. Also, this serves as a good way to explain why everybody is disregarding what the boy has to say because clearly he is just upset. However, the young boy is wearing his father's old glasses, which somehow allow the wearer to see reptilian beings that look like humans to our naked eyes. I suspect the message they wanted to get across in the story was the father was killed for being aware of the reptilian people, but it doesn't really say this. Uh, but they sure do keep mentioning the father is dead and that his glasses let you see reptile people. So I'm going to connect those dots myself. At one point in the episode, uh, it makes it clear to the viewer that the episode itself is aware of pop culture and movies. It does this by showing a Robocop poster in the son's room and at one point, while the young boy is explaining how the glasses allow him to see his mother's new boyfriend is a reptile monster, his sister further proves they know about movies 
and pop culture by saying it sounds like the plot of Invasion of the Body Snatchers, but actually it sounds more like the plot of They Live. Clearly, the episode's writer thought they could throw us off the scent of the source material they ripped off by referencing a different movie. Or maybe they're trying to tell us that they believe They Live and Invasion of the Body Snatchers have a shared theme or plot, which actually makes sense given both They Live and Invasion of the Body Snatchers are about aliens taking over the world right under our noses completely unnoticed. Now, in the Monsters episode, The Family Man, we do not get many similarities outside of the glasses and the creatures disguised as people. I personally love this episode and the series it is from is awesome. I plan on talking more about Monsters TV series in a future episode of mine. I'm huge on anthology shows, be it horror or non-horror. Interestingly enough, however, the idea of glasses revealing alien invaders pops up again just a year after the episode of Monsters or just three years after they live in a video game called The Simpsons, Bart vs. the Space Mutants. Bart vs. the Space Mutants was released on several video game platforms, apparently. I only knew of the NES release and the Sega Genesis release. I had the NES version. In this game, the player controls Bart Simpson, who has glasses which reveal aliens that otherwise would go unnoticed. Aliens who are enslaving humans, not unlike the aliens in They Live who have enslaved humans through the means of economical oppression. Anyway, as for the video game, it sucks in retrospect. Like, maybe I just don't have the patience or the time like I did when I was 11, because I actually remember liking this game and playing it a lot as a kid and thinking it was good, like thinking it was actually a pretty decent game. But playing it more recently is just frustrating and unrewarding. It's not good. The controls are broken. This is coming from someone who plays PS2 Manhunt still. <laughs> so I, I, mean, I really have nothing to say in regards to uh, controls being broken in an old video game, but that's how bad it is. Outside of the theme of glasses which reveal alien intruders, not much about it really takes from They Live. If you believe I'm wrong about that, however, let me know in the comments because I may have missed a reference or two. Now I'm aware They Live has been referenced in other things, such as a music video a couple of years ago for Green Day. I think it was called Back in the USA. But the part I'm more interested in is glasses revealing some invader from another world or alien race. It's a curious thing to me seeing three references uh, about special glasses showing us we are under attack by something that disguises itself to look like us. I say there's three references. This I, I want to count this as the fourth reference. Another reference which just barely counts in my opinion is an episode of Nickelodeon's Are You Afraid of the Dark? In this episode, which is titled Tale of the Super Specs, which was released in 1992, just four years after they live, we learn of a young fella by the name of Weeds. Which, okay, Weeds it is. Anyways, this young man chants a random incantation and sprinkles some magic dust in the air. His girlfriend coughs and looks annoyed. Both are unaware that the dust he has sprinkled has landed on some nearby sunglasses. These glasses, once put on, reveal figures wearing all black, which are everywhere you look, unbeknownst you know, to everybody else. Now I say this reference counts, barely, but it counts. We do not get aliens or reptilians, but we get mysterious figures who I guess are a threat despite never really being all that threatening throughout the episode. Uh, probably because it's a kid's show. It is revealed at the end of the episode that the people wearing all black are actually their doubles from a parallel universe who end up replacing them. So we get another reference that sounds similar to Evasion of the Body Snatchers tied into a They Live reference, which that in and of itself is kind of odd too. Now for the most part, that's really all I have to say about this today. If anybody out there happens to know of anything else that references glasses revealing aliens, let me know because I'm sure I could have missed something. I think it's kind of cool and I think it's kind of weird how I went into this video only wanting to discuss They Live and yet certain items I bring up have connections to Invasion of the Body Snatchers as well. I already thought it was a curious thing to have glasses that reveal an outside force invading. But more interesting is that a couple of times now have connections to Invasion of the Body Snatchers as well. Anyways, that about does it for me today. If you think I missed anything, let me know in the comments. We could talk about it there. Consider subscribing if you like content like this. Also, check out the video I posted yesterday about uh, Evil Dead possibly borrowing most of its elements from a movie called Equinox from 1971. In the meantime, have a great day. Talk to you guys next time.